Okay, I want to go over how I'm creating some of the avatars. It's, I keep getting questions on how I'm doing it. I'm tired of typing, so I'd rather make a video and just send a link so that people can find out how I'm doing it. Um, find the image you're going to work on. Um, click on the layer, Control J to duplicate the layer. So you always have the background layer to go back to if you needed to pull original source data. It was original nose, original eyes, or whatnot. So start editing on a new layer. Um, first thing you got to do is you got to turn them, turn the facial features. They have to be different. You don't want to start painting skin color and then trying to move stuff around. Um, so we're going to re reconstruct our face here using the liquify. Uh, helps your computers a little faster if you just select the area that you want to work in <coughs> before you go to liquify. You can either hit Control Shift X or you can go to the filter menu and hit Liquify. Uh, I use three tools. Um, first tool, the, the forward warp tool, uh, the bloat tool, and then the push left tool. Uh, first thing I do is I make the eyes bigger, so I go to the bloat tool and uh, I put my mouse, the crosshair, right over top the center of the eye and keep enlarging the brush until it touches around the middle of their nose. And then I go over to the parameters and make the brush density around 60 and the brush rate 10. And I do mouse clicks. I'm not using the, the Wacom stylus. And I count my clicks. Do it to both sides. Um, so that enlarges the eye and even up under the eyebrow. Uh, but now I want to make the pupil bigger, so I'm going to change my density um, down to around, we'll say, 25. Let's put the crosshair back over the center of the eye. It was a little off-centered there. Count my clicks. And that makes the pupils a lot larger. Then I go to the, the forward warp tool. You press W and... Uh, I change my presser to around 90% and my density around 85%. And I click to the inside of the eye and I separate the eyes just a little bit more, push them apart. Still using the mouse. Uh, clicking on the inside of the eye will compact the outside of the eye and stretch uh, the tear duct, uh, which they have a stretched tear duct. If you want to, you can make the brush a lot smaller and exaggerate the tear duct as well. Uh, but don't do that till last. Um, now I use the the push left tool or O on your keyboard. Make the brush smaller, and this is where you got to reshape the nose. And you have to take into account as you're doing this shadows and um, any kind of spectacle shine, uh, like in this image here. Uh, I want this shine here to to move all together to be at the same angle, and the same with the shadow. And uh, you got to watch your brush size so that you don't make this shadow very thin uh, unless that's the effect you're going for. Um, brush density I usually put around 50 to 60 and the pressure very very low only about 5% I'm now I'm using the Wacom pen I'm no longer using the mouse and you just slowly start separating the nose um, you'll play around with the tool to figure out which way you have to push it to get the pixels to move but this tool doesn't just push to the left, it pushes in any direction that you want it to go in. And this is where you could really just shape it the way you want it to look. You'll have to change brush size a lot. And uh, you might not have to change density too much. You can redo the eyebrows. You see how, as I push this nose further apart up there, it is compacting the eye again. So that's why you can stretch out the tear duct later. Changing the brush size to try and clean up the bottom of the nose. This will take some getting used to if you've never used the liquify tool or if you're doing this by mouse. Doing this by mouse is actually pretty tricky. 
Uh, you'll see as you're using the liquify tool, it, it does a great job at, at spreading the majority of the pixels, um, but it loses a lot of detail if you spread stuff too much. So the next step would have to be either clone tool or adding in noise, something to make it look like some skin texture. Back onto any pixel that is being smeared. If I zoom in here, you can see that we've lost a lot of detail on the nose. Uh, zoom out from time to time to make sure that your angles, uh, the angle of the nose is is symmetrical, it's, it's, that it's at the angles that you want it to be at. Uh, whenever you're happy with however it looks, you can just click OK. That's just, it's the three steps. Enlarge the eyes, pull the eyes apart, and then uh, start reshaping the nose. And uh, so that's what we do for liquify. I'm just doing a rough thing to make the video shorter here. And uh, now you'll be able to see a before and after. Reshaping. Next video, we'll add some detail back in on the nose.